Suppose Thing is standing in front of room 1 in a corridor. He wants to meet his friend Octo, who's outside room 3. In mathematics, number lines are like this corridor. The corridor is represented as a horizontal line and the doors are small vertical bars on the horizontal line. Unlike the corridor, however, we can also display negative numbers on a number line. Numbers to the left of 0 are negative numbers and numbers to the right of 0 are positive numbers. We know that an integer such as minus 2 can be represented on a number line like this. But what about rational numbers? Suppose Octo now asks Thing to come outside room 1 over 2. However, Thing has no idea where he can find such a strangely numbered room. Let's see if Thing's problem can be simplified using the number line. Since 1 over 2 is positive and is less than 1, we can conclude that this number lies between the consecutive integers 0 and 1. We divide the line segment between 0 and 1 into two equal parts and represent 1 over 2 like this. Now, Thing can finally meet Octo outside room 1 over 2. Generally, on a number line, we divide the line segment according to the denominator. First, consider a case where the numerator is less than the denominator. The rational number minus 2 over 3 is negative and is less than 0, so it lies to the left of 0, between consecutive integers minus 1 and 0. The denominator is 3. So we divide the line segment between minus 1 and 0 into three equal parts. Since the number is negative, we determine its location by moving to the left. The first mark represents minus 1 over 3 or 1 out of 3. And the second represents minus 2 over 3 as shown by the red circle. So, what about a case where the numerator is greater than the denominator? A number like 5 over 4, for instance, can be simplified by converting it into a mixed fraction. To do this, we divide 5 by 4 as follows. The mixed fraction is written as a quotient on the side with the remainder over the divisor. So, 5 over 4 is equal to one whole number, 1 over 4. This means that 5 over 4 lies between the consecutive integers 1 and 2. The denominator in the mixed fraction is 4. So, the line segment between 1 and 2 is divided into four equal parts. Since the number is positive, we determine its location by moving to the right. The first mark represents one whole number, 1 over 4, or 5 over 4 as shown by this circle. Now, take a minute to represent these rational numbers on a number line. Let's find the solution together. Since the numerator 4 is greater than the denominator 3, we convert 4 over 3 into a mixed fraction. 4 over 3 is equal to one whole number 1 over 3. So, 4 over 3 lies somewhere between consecutive integers 1 and 2 on the number line. Now, divide the line segment between 1 and 2 into 3 equal parts. This number is positive, so we determine its location by moving to the right. 4 over 3 is represented by this circle. 
Similarly, minus 4 over 3 is written in a mixed fraction form as shown. However, since the number is negative, it lies between consecutive integers minus 2 and minus 1. This line segment is then divided into three equal parts. Recall that we move to the left for negative numbers, so minus 4 over 3 is represented by this circle. 0 over 3 is equal to 0, so it is simply represented at the 0 mark on the number line. In summary, Negative numbers lie to the left of zero and positive numbers lie to the right of zero. To place a rational number on the number line, we first identify the two consecutive integers that the number lies between. If the numerator is less than the denominator, the number lies between zero and one or minus 1 and 0. If the numerator is greater than the denominator, the number is converted into a mixed fraction. Then, we divide the line segment between the integers into equal parts, corresponding to the denominator in the fraction. Finally, we use the numerator to determine how many of these equal parts are covered.